Hello, and welcome to the first and only episode, perhaps, of Strandcast, where we talk about Death Strand. Game of the Year? How to strand. How to be. Uh, Game of the Year? I don't know. Uh, You know, what's it called came out this year? Uh... Anthem? Yeah, that did Anthem, come up. Yeah, Anthem, that's $5 right now at GameStop, so... It will probably be free by next year. Probably. Uh, I had, like, an, a weird epiphany uh, this morning, like, could Overwatch be free to play? I was like, it probably will be. Not, yeah. I don't know, probably not anytime soon, but when Overwatch 2 comes out and stuff, and they're just giving the multiplayer stuff to Overwatch 1, they'll probably just make Overwatch 1 free to play. I mean... It goes free to play a lot already, so, you know. Yeah, for weekends and stuff, yeah. I don't know. Overwatch is not Death Stranding. It's not a Social Strand game, but you know what is a Social Strand game? Death Stranding. Death Stranding, which the back of the box says. I'm so happy the back of the box says. Forming connections with the world and beyond, the Social Strand system ushers in a new Strand game genre. (laughs) It means nothing, but I love it. Uh, I mean, it means stuff, but not anything, really. I don't know. I don't think the, so I don't think the social thing genre is gonna really take off in the next couple of years. Probably not. Probably not, unfortunately, because the social strand system's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I beat Death Stranding last night. You beat it like a month ago. Yeah, I I, I had to beat it before I went on my trip because that's all I'd be thinking about. Yeah, you beat it a like a week after it came out, right? It took you. Uh, about... I can check. I have I have the PS app and it has my achievements. Okay, I think it took you about a week. Yeah, because that's all I do. I don't it know took I me games. exactly one month. But a lot of that was stalling. But, yeah. But I am going to go back in. I kind of want to platinum it. Mm-hmm. I'm already pretty I... close. Are you? Because you got to do mean, all the I... deliveries for everything, right? I have, like, the first... I have, like, four... Area. I almost have the first area completed. Okay. Does that include... That means doing all the standard orders and raising five stars for everywhere. Yeah. Which is means like delivering lost cargo and stuff. Yeah, just pretty much completing all the missions. Okay, because uh, I went to, I went into Death Stranding today, even though I beat it last night. I was I just went into it today just to like check some post game stuff out, see what's changed and whatnot. And I wasn't gonna play for very long, and I ended up playing like three more hours because yeah. it's addicting and good. It's good yeah, game. I beat it on the sixteenth. So yep. a little over a week. Pretty much a week, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good game. You ended about 35 hours, you said? Yeah. I ended at 46 and a half, so... Yeah, you started doing more. You did a lot more side content than me. I don't, I don't think I did that much. The only thing, like, that really comes of note that I did was, uh, on, like, my first or second day, I, like, loved Jeff Keighley so much that every time I came across a lost thing of his, I would always run back to where he was, even if it took, like, an hour. So, I don't know. By the way, at the end it gives you all your stats and stuff, and it says yep. total time rested, or resting, and I had like 15 hours. Does that include just being in the, it must include just being in the rest yeah, room? Yeah, I feel basically? like, because like, I barely actually used the rest feature because it took too long. Yeah, and so yeah. You have to it rests in real time. Yep. I rested a little bit, but not too much. Same. I did it because I got an achievement from it. Oh, what's the achievement? I don't remember, but I think there's an achievement if the first time you rest. By the way, I was asking you the other day when you were playing, I was like, where do you get the fucking hat? Where do you get the fucking hat? And you were like, well, you, you go, you can customize it, you can make it gold and stuff. I just found out about that. Yeah. I knew about that, but I still don't have the hat when I'm done with the game. And you get it from... I don't, I don't know where I got the hat. You then. get it from uh, one of the places when you raise your stars enough. You get the hat, but... Uh, it was weird, because in the la- one of the last cutscenes, you're in the safe room, and you see the table where the sunglasses are, usually, and the hat was there. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess a hat's just in this safe room now, and I'm gonna- this is where I get it, yeah. but now I don't have it anymore. I never got <laughs> got to wear it. So, yeah. Good. I gotta do that. But, uh, the, uh, customizing- you just found out about, like, changing colors of sunglasses and stuff? Yep. I did that, like, the day that we watched the anime Lord of the Rings Club, just sitting around messing with the game until you guys got there. Okay, I knew about that, but, um, the customizing your suit color was not a thing until yeah. you beat the game. I learned that one from the subreddit. Yeah, People unfortunately, because I like, I mean, for story reasons, I understand, but, uh, I like the red. The red one looks cool. Yeah. A quick question, lost. how do you feel about BB's theme? The BB's theme's good. Game. I like it a lot. 
I, my, bo my boy Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen. Okay, so yeah, I got notes. I got notes to talk about. Oh, Mads Mikkelsen was great. Yeah, Mads he was. was great, but uh, okay. So my favorite characters throughout most of it were I like Fragile a lot. I like I like Mads Mikkelsen. I like Cliff, and I like, I like Mama. Mama's Mama's good. They're all good. No one's yeah. bad. No one's like bad and annoying. But my overall favorites were Fragile, Cliff, and Hartman. Well, you know, oh. Fragile. She's not that fragile. Not that fragile. Oh, when her and Norman at the end, they said they the line. They do the little thing, and then they stop fucking. Oh, so cute. Oh, ooh, so cute. Uh, he's dad, so he can't make, get, get with her. Yeah, but anyways, Cliff, um, uh, wait, what? He's hurt. Wait, what? No, he is a dad, so now he can't get with her. Oh, yeah. Because, know, true. she probably true. doesn't like children. She said, oh. she said she didn't like, she didn't want to babysit. Yeah, true. Uh, but anyways, um... Yeah, so, I mean, Dead Man's great, too. Dead Man I started to really like because of how important he becomes for, like, Sam's character. I, like, I, I, didn't, I never cared for Die Hard Man until toward the end. Yes, I was about to say, Die Hard Man was probably my least favorite character, but, oh my god, his actor was probably, like, the best in yeah. all of them. Oh my god, that last scene where he's, like, on the ground. Starts breaking in tears because he killed It was him. so good, and I tried I to know. look up... I looked up the actor, and he's, like, in no, like, I know. famous movies or anything. He's so... Oh, my God, he's so good. Yeah, I was yeah like, just, like, Die Hard Man, like, you know, I like him because he has a funny name, but he's done nothing this entire game and yeah. up until the end. And I'm like, yep. oh, he became like, one of my favorites. Shit. It was such a good performance. I was like, holy moly. So I kind of wish he was nominated for the game Zach, award. I know you're listening to this. Put him in a movie, Zach. Put him in a movie. Get him in a live-action Death Stranding movie starring Hideo Kojima as Sam Porter Bridges. Yes, please. Have him play Fragile. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Just have all the same actors, but have them playing different characters. I'm still really confused about the um, the state of the Metal Gear movie, by the way. Because I keep seeing stuff about how that one director who had a, uh, you know, a face scan yeah, cameo. Yeah, the game. Uh, so he must he's... be friends with Kojima. He is, is but apparently he's still directing the Metal Gear movie. Like, I'm not seeing anything really out for yeah, or didn't he direct the, the new King Kong movie as Maybe? well? I, I don't know. I, that, I think I googled him. I don't know, but I just don't understand, because... I don't know. Metal Gear is obviously not owned by Kojima anymore. It's owned by Konami. I mean, Konami should just give them the rights, even if Kojima doesn't do anything with them. Yeah, but... I'd rather trust them with Kojima's hands. Yeah, of course, but, uh... Yeah, I don't understand. I, am, I haven't looked too much into it, but people still say, oh yeah, this guy's directing the Metal Gear movie, and Kojima's the Metal Gear creator, so of course they're connected, and I'm like, but... But Konami and Kojima had a big falling out, and I feel yeah. like it's Konami that's the one funding it. Yeah, so, so it's I feel weird. like they would not want Kojima to, like, be a part of the movie. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's strange. It's very strange. Anyways, uh, yeah, Die Hard Man's whole thing at the end was, uh, you know? fucking great. Was dope. Uh, he became one of my favorite characters, probably. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll just go through, I'll just go through, I'll just go through my notes. Get, uh, get your notes. First of all, first of all, uh, I bawled my eyes out. Yeah, I started tearing up. I uh, didn't. It, I didn't cry. I was like, okay, this is probably where I'm supposed to cry, but I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not. And then finally, like it, it happened, and I was like, oh, this game's not gonna affect me much. But then, oh, I just started crying. I started crying hardcore during the third of times the credit play credits play, because we get like three credit sequences, which is great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, that first crit, that one where you're on the beach and you have nothing to do, I don't know. I felt like, I felt like there was something, I wish there was something more to do. I felt like I was missing something. I just climbed up on the, uh, on the top. I, so I was just like... kept running around and then I got bored and then I just kind of made mac and cheese while watching. There... <laughs> there was a pointy rock on the top of the, like there was a little hill with a pointy rock and I just went and made Sam stand on top of that and just like swished the camera around with the music. And that's how I kept busy. Yeah, I... I, I, I felt like I was missing something the entire thing until about halfway through, I'm like, I don't think I am. The entire, just everything with the ending with Amelie and the beach and stuff, I was like, I think this is supposed to be emotional, and it is good, but I'm not, like, I'm not that sad, or, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not crying, I'm not, you know, this ain't, this ain't that bad. But then everything with BB at the end, I was like, holy shit, oh god, okay. My boy, my sweet little Lou. Uh, Louise, Sorry, Louise. which is a female name. Yes, because BB a was actually female. The whole time. Uh, which, by the way, I think in our first Malicious cast, I predicted that Sam was BB. Just, I think it was as a joke. Which, he's not, obviously he's not He's Lou. not our BB, but he is the BB. 
he is yeah. a meme. So, as a passing joke, I, like, said that, and, uh, I mean, I'm sure other people theorize that, too, but it's just funny how that ended up being a thing. Yes. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see here, let's, let's... I, I was a little confused about some of the timelines, because, like, they were doing the BB experiments, Cliff dies, but then, when does the Death Stranding happen? Does it happen before the BB experience, or once Sam comes back to life? Because that's what some people think it happens. I think it's after he comes back. Because they were as... quite clear on that one i oh you know what also probably ramped up my playtime more than yours you didn't read too many of the interviews and stuff did you no just the text that was too small for my dad, oh, dad okay. eyes. yeah i was sitting in for, real close to the screen burning my eye holes so yeah i read not every interview and email but a whole lot of them i skimmed through them just because of achievements if you read 100 interviews and 100 emails oh. Nice. Yeah, so there was, yeah, no, there was void outs in uh, Manhattan first, and then yeah. that's when they started doing BB experiments and stuff, and that was bef between the void outs and the Death Stranding itself. Uh, okay, so anyways, I went back and watched the first trailer for, you know, the original trailer. Nope. Uh, I was listening to a podcast recently, and they were like, oh, you know how, you know how every game trailer, it's never actually, like, what they show is never actually what's in the game. Like, it's always never as good, but e literally everything they've shown in any Death Stranding trailer was in the game. Like, yep, actual scenes from the game. Some of them and, were even pretty late in the game, too, if I remember. And was good, and makes sense. I was gonna say that, too. I had a bunch of stuff just in promotional, like, commercials and ads and stuff. Uh, I just had a bunch of, like, late-game stuff spoiled to me. The TV at my GameStop, like, plays the scene where the giant whale BT comes out that you fight in, like, Chapter 13. Yeah, the, final, the true final boss. Yeah. Yeah, that's, like, a kind of a big spoiler. Uh, I saw a lot of just, like, ads and stuff that showed uh, that scene at the end with uh, Die Hard Men, like, on the ground crying and stuff without his mask on. And I was like, oh, who's that black guy? Oh, that must be Die Hard Men. I guess he takes his mask off eventually. Okay. I feel like that was supposed to be more of a spoiler. I don't know. I got spoiled that uh, Cliff is your dad from a YouTube video. I haven't watched, like, I wasn't watching, like, any Death Stranding videos. Hop on YouTube, and then there was a video being like, uh, Sam's final moment with Cliff Unger, his dad. <laughs> Great title. <laughs> and it was just, this, 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 something was Sam hugging Cliff, I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Yeah. That was no, like, I surprisingly like, two days into my playing of the game. Yeah, I surprisingly did not get, uh, that spoiled, so. I mean, it didn't affect it that much, but still, I'm just like, oh, thanks, YouTube recommendations. I watched, I think, one, one Death Stranding review. Yep. Since I got, I got the game. And then they're like, oh, you want to see this? You want to see this end game video? Mm hmm. I also, a whole bunch of the promotional footage also uses, I don't know if you've seen this, I think literally commercials might use this somehow for some reason. La, when Sam's on the beach in blue with the gun and he shoots, tries to shoot himself. I see that all the time in like promotional Death Stranding trailers and stuff. Yeah, I, I feel it's weird that they keep, like, are using end game stuff. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like, end of the story. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, a bunch of my stuff that I had seen, I was like, so when's that gonna happen? When's that gonna happen? And it's all in the end game. And I was like, why'd they show all that? Yeah. It was weird. But anyways, have you seen the comparison videos of, like, the original reveal trailers? Yeah, I don't think so. The original reveal trailers and, like, the in-game stuff, they changed a few things here and there. But they look exactly the same, pretty much. And in some of them, the gameplay, like, the, what's in the actual game looks even better. Which is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. How'd they do that? Why does Kojima make such good-looking games? I using, mean... Using the Horizon Zero Dawn engine. Maybe maybe this game will get me to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Probably not, because it still doesn't look that fun. I, did, I just know nothing about it other than, like, it's an open world game where you shoot dinosaurs. Cool. But you I don't know everything I saw about it. Just oh my god, you guys are actually here. Wow. Get out! <laughs> yeah, I can talk about it. I know nothing. You get out of here. Zach, I'm gonna start t posing if you don't get out. The t -pose. No, it's fine. He can he can sit. He can. I mean, going to direct a movie someday. He is. Yeah, we can give you some cues here. Uh, obviously, full spoilers, but you know, you need those to direct a movie. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, no, I I like uh, making a movie, but just basing it off of what I know. So like. Oh yeah, yeah. Like babies. I've never actually picked up the the. <laughs> Are you know a baby ghost? Pee yeah. Poopy. Yeah, I'll probably add demons to it. Stinky. Okay, so you know in the first, you know in the first trailer, the five floating things and stuff, and the whole game, I was like, what were those? That never, that doesn't happen. And that scene in the beginning, that the first trailer is where he's laying naked on the beach with the cut on his stomach and the baby, you know, uh, he's crying and being a sad boy. Uh, in the game, they remove 
because he looks up and he sees the five people floating, you know, the five yep. shadows. And in the actual game, that's not a thing. They don't appear at that time. So I thought it was like, oh, maybe that's just a trailer-only thing, and it's just supposed to be sim- like cool symbolism or something, and I don't know. But no, they're at the end of the game. Yep. And what do you think they are? Uh, I, you know, I, I, it's either the past five extinction entities. That's what IGN or, said. <laughs> or the other one is, it's your five friends trying to get you out of the beach. Yep, that's what I thought it was. Those that's, are the two only things that can be. That's what makes the most sense to me. Because isn't one of the, I mean, unless they're just taking humanoid form, extinction entities, they say, the don't they man. say multiple times, like the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs was an ex- extinction entity? That wouldn't appear as a human, would it? I don't know. I don't know. I think it makes sense because you see them at, right when you yeah, start when they hearing them call for you and stuff. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. What do you think about that, Zach? Pretty rad. Pretty rad, yeah. Put that in the movie. Zach, what do um, you think about this game? Uh, Trot likes it. Well, Trot uh, is an intellectual. Uh, the other the two haven't like played Mouse, it. Right? What? He's the one that doesn't, he doesn't like Big Mouth? Uh, I don't think he's watched it. Right, Smith so is the one that likes Big Mouth. Alright, yeah, he's the Don Intellectual. He's um, the Intellectual? Is he the one with the, his Minecraft skin was like a green guy? Yes, he's the one who sang uh, the Overwatch song. <laughs> <laughs> he is oh. an intellectual. They they joke about that all the time because he's always like, "Oh, that Overwatch song I did that sucks," and they always like mention it. And it's funny. Oh, but, okay, um, hold on. My phone's dying, and my phone has all my notes on it. So the I other the other oh, two no. were the other two. Trenton were like, "Oh yeah, uh, it looks interesting. I could see the appeal, but they haven't played it." I can see the uh, banana appeal. <laughs> <laughs> banana <laughs> appeal. Yeah, they did. They did do best game of the decade, falling behind Yakuza Zero. I was about to say that. I was gonna say this is probably game of the decade, but Yakuza Zero exists. Yeah. Game of the uh, generation. I'll give it that one. Ah, uh, but you know what else exists though? Uh, fucking, you know. Outlaws. No. Out- Outlaws. Ride to Hell Retribution. <laughs> oh, that was a PS4 game. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. That's not even the one I meant. I meant the uh, what's the FPS that came out that no one played? Yeah, the uh, uh, Overwatch lawbreakers? shooter. Yeah, Lawbreakers, yeah. Oh, sorry, I mean, uh, what other FPS that no one played? Uh, the Battle- one that Gearbox made? Battleborn? Yeah, Battleborn. Yeah, good <laughs> good game. Okay, so yeah, I think that those were uh, those were your five friends, which is epic. I love that. Uh, does Norman uh, Reedus die? No. No. He, uh, he, do- he does, but then he doesn't, which what? I'm about to talk about. So that cut on his stomach that we've known about since the first trailer and everyone's like oh like it's like when you give birth like you get that scar on your stomach you must have given birth to that baby on the beach but no it was a bullet wound oh my god holy shit no i don't think the bullet killed killed him because cliff got shot he was a fetus he fell on the floor i'm pretty sure the drop killed him well regardless he had a bullet hole in him Maybe. He did! You, were you not watching? <laughs> I don't remember, right? That was like a month ago. He is laying on the ground, he's got blood coming out of him after they shoot uh, Cliff. Boy, Cliff. And they're like, no, not BB2. And uh, then he turns blue and goes to the beach. And Amelie, like, literally, like, it shows her, like, patching him up, like, with her yeah, finger. I she waves them fine. Finger magic and turns in, and his bullet hole turns into that little cross on the stomach. You this time. And I just the totally forgot that. I forgot to no, say No, this is saying Norman, Re- uh, Norman Reedus' baby. But yes, the baby also does die, but comes back. Yes. To the power of hugs. Do they explain? Do they explain baby and throat? Uh, yes, that's him. That's that's Sam himself in his own throat, right? Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Because it's... That you only see baby and throat okay, when you're in the so, Sam becomes a... Sam becomes what's called a repatriate because he gets killed and brought back to life by Amelie on the beach. The beach, like the world of dead. Kind of was a sister, adopted sister, sort of. Sort of. It's just an entity. But they bring yeah. him back to life, so that makes it so he's a repatriate, which means he like doesn't die when he dies. He always he comes to this place called the Seam and comes back and whatever. And that happened to him when he was a baby. So I'm pretty sure when he's in the Seam and you find that's when you when you're in the Seam. After you die, you go back to Norman, and that's when the baby throat thing happens. So I think it's just supposed to be him as a baby, because that's when he became he a died, after technically. It. Yeah, when he died, technically. It makes sense, Zach, I swear. <laughs> it makes sense if you... <laughs> all right, for, um... It all makes sense. Somehow he made all of this make sense, to me at least. And, uh, for, the, yeah, for, the movie, to... for the movie, uh, the baby's going to be actually in his throat? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not going to be just a... It's, cause it's, a, it's, a, it's not actually in his throat, it's like a metaphor, right? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's Kojima. I'd be thinking it's himself. Cool. I think it's a metaphor because yeah, it's it's himself. I'm pretty sure. It's not Lou. So. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. One thing I didn't care for, I didn't care for how, like, Sam, like, nah, I don't want to hang out with any of my friends anymore. Even though I feel like that goes against the major themes of the game. It does, but it also... Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, speaking also about his stomach scar, I forgot he had that, because we never really see the front of his stomach, yeah. and I thought that was because they don't want to show us his dick, you know? But it, it also is a double meaning of not showing us his dick and also not showing us his stomach scar, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah. I thought that was pretty neat, because it made us, even though it was like one of the early cutscenes when we see him with the stomach scar, we don't know if he actually we has don't, it. We don't think about it. It could have been, yeah, it could have been symbolic. It could have been just a dream sequence. You don't know. But he actually has it, and it's cool, because it's a big bullet wound. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Uh, what else do I got here? Uh, yeah, so that, that baby he has in that first trailer is himself, I'm pretty sure. He's crying and holding on the beach. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense that they was with him on the beach. And then it, like, disappears and turns into a BT, because that's what happens to people when they die, and he died. Yeah. They cross, uh, they turn into, yep, they do the word. Yep, makes sense. Solely in the black thing, and then BTs, and then you want to shoot yourself instead of getting eaten by a BT. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, as I was saying about uh, him and his friends, like he doesn't want to hang out with his friends anymore afterwards, but he gets over his uh, his fear he of being touching. touched and touching. No, he he get, kills autism really fast. He gets over that because Dead Man literally grabs, touches, and grabs him and pulls him back into the living world. That's how he saves him is by touching him. So that's I assume what yeah. made him get over it, which is great. I fucking love that. Yeah. Uh, and I, that's then how I was... my priest saved me from hell too. Yeah, true. <laughs> they save you by touching you. But, uh, and then he, you know, he lets Dead Man, uh, hug him and stuff. Yeah, but he still seems kind of, eh. Then I was like, oh, maybe he only likes Dead Man now. Maybe he's only gay for Dead Man. Only lets Dead Man touch him because he saved him. Don't blame me. I mean, but, we got see me shower together. It's true. But then he fucking touches, grabs, picks up Die Hard Man when he's on the ground. So his getting over his fear of touching people literally saved Die Hard Man because he touched him, pulled him up, and you know, talk like talk some sense into him. He's like, "Thank you, Sam." Oh, that was beautiful. Holy shit, I, di I died. I died a little. Uh, good shit. Yeah. What else? What else? What else do I have here? I don't know. I don't have your notes. Uh, let's see. And then he also touches Lou's hand at the end. So yeah. obviously not. His daughter now. His daughter, yes, his daughter. Nice, nice daughter. I'll take her. His daughter, I'll take her. Nice funky fetus. Uh, I already talked about Die Hard Men's performance being good. It was. Uh, that last scene where he, uh... I don't know why he places uh, her on the incinerator and then quickly pulls it away when he clearly oh, wasn't. I assume he, from the start... Because from the start, like, when he sees Dead Man holding the baby and he's like, Lou, what's wrong? Uh, he's like... Oh, is it dead? And he just doesn't seem that shaken up by it at all. He's just like, okay, whatever. And I was like, is this like supposed to be sad? Because it seems like Norman Reedus doesn't really care. Uh, I was sad. But I, I was just confused. I was like, it, it can't actually be dead because they're really they're not playing off this too much. But then they're like, oh, you got to go to the incinerator, and uh, you step outside, and uh, the music, the song starts playing. So that's what started making me tear up. Then, if you try to do the first person thing where you look down and try to soothe uh, the Ooh. baby, uh, yeah. it, you can't do that, obviously. And instead, when you hit it, uh, all Norman said it says is, I'm sorry, Lou. So that started getting me going. And then. Uh, Who's Lou? Lou's the uh, baby. BB. Oh. The baby. The baby. Also, he needs Louis, Lou. because it's actually a baby. Which. Is that, his, is that his daughter that died's name? Louise? Uh, no, they were going to name the child uh, Lou. Who? Uh, Norman Reedus and his wife were gonna name the child Lou, but his then, wife? He he had a wife. Oh, she died. She died. Yeah. She Once got, there was she an explosion. A void out, which is what happens when a BT eats a human. It's a big boy explosion. BTs are basically ghosts. That's all. They're, I mean. Well, the beach things. Yeah. The beach from the other side. Mhm. Mm but yeah, so I was just like really, yeah. It seemed like he mm -hmm. wasn't, and then also, oh, the last thing I got me as you're walking, if the camera zooms way out with BB's theme, so it's kind of hard to tell. But if you look closely. Sam, occasionally, while he's walking, he, like, rubs his eyes, because he's crying. And that destroyed me. Because baby died? Yeah. baby died, yeah, and he's got to take it to him. Because when someone dies, you have to take it to an incinerator. You do it at the beginning of the game with your... Yep, like, with of... a second mission. Good yeah. doctor, mother. And then your final thing... Oh, and he also says one last delivery. Holy shit. Uh, so, yeah. I like that. I like how in the beginning you have to burn your adoptive mom, and at the end you're burning the baby. 
doing the same mission again. Yep. Ah, oh, that was good. I like that a lot. And the song is obviously super good. It is really because I, I have added that song to my musical playlist. It's good. It's good shit. Because it's a uh, jam. BB's theme. Uh, and then anyways, at the end, so yeah, I was like, it seems like he wasn't really intending to, because from the beginning, Dead Man's like, oh, take him out. You can take him out of the pot. I'll unhook your cufflinks and no one will know. So it seems like he's going to do that, so I don't, just, I don't know why he even bothered going all the way to the incinerator, you know? And faking it out by setting it on there and then quickly pulling it off and stuff. Yeah. But I guess he burns his handcuffs, so I don't know. But, uh, anyways, yeah, he shakes the baby. There's like a weird BT umbil umbilical cord coming off it the whole time. Uh, I don't know what that was necessarily about, but at the end when it comes... when. Lou comes back to life. There's like some BT babies floating around, so I don't know. Maybe they like brought it, brought her back. I don't know. Maybe something like that. That's so, that's kind of vague, but I don't. But think if he goes outside and it starts raining, and he's not getting aged. He's not getting aged, and I assume because that strain's over. The strain's over. There's no BTs. I and I was. This is what I was thinking. I was thinking that's because Amelie's beach isn't connected anymore. Because that's yeah. the whole thing at the end is you, you just talk her into cutting off her beach, which is assuming uh, yeah that's where the BTs are coming from. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Here's, here's her beach. Because she's the extinction entity. And that's why she wanted to link the chiral network up to link everyone's beaches. Yeah. Which, by the way, the chiral did you catch at the end? Because uh, the last chiral station that she wasn't able to set up, you have to bring a thing to go set it up, mm -hmm. and that thing is literally like a BB pod. Yep. That you deliver, so she has, like, all of the stations you've been to so far have, like, BBs at them. Or the pods, at least. I assume BBs are in them as well. But, I don't know. It is strange that BBs are apparently, like, a tool thing, but yeah, the only real one you see is yours, because Higgs ends up being a doll that he has in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was interesting. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so, uh... But uh, the post game kind of makes that weird because the post game takes place after uh, Amelie has disconnected her beach, but, but between before the final cutscenes. Yeah, before the final cutscenes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run there's... some uh, casting by you guys real quick. All right. Yeah. Um. So I'm thinking uh, Cliff could be Keanu Reeves. You know what? Sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, he could do a. He could make me cry. Yeah. Uh, dead man. Uh, man. Dead man. Uh, Sean Astin. Really? Sure, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone can replace a uh, motion capture Gamil Del Toro. The problem. Uh, Sh Sh Sean Astin is uh, Sam from Lord of the Rings slash uh, Mikey from Goonies. Uh, yeah. He's like a he's in uh, that one show. You know, he's likes. bad enough. Yeah, he could be dead man. Stranger Things? He's in Stranger Things, right, Riley? Really? Yeah, he's in Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, and then obviously, uh, this is an easy one. Die Hard Man as Bruce Willis. <laughs> oh, but he's not black. <laughs> and he can blackface. Or we just change. Uh, we just mean to make uh, the main character black, and therefore it's fine. So. Uh... Well, you see that Audi cast Hideo Kojima as Sam for the Bridges. Yeah, you have to. That's true. You have to do that. Who's gonna be BB though, Zach? Uh, who's gonna play a baby? Yeah. Hey, I'll do the voices. Trenton himself. Goo Goo Gaga, Sam for the Bridges. There it is. But, um, Trenton Houston, best known as the Evil Wizard. Yeah. <laughs> His IMDB page, the evil wizard, uh, the other guy, and BB Death Strand. The other guy. Yeah, I can't think of his large Yoshi two character. Yoshi-san, come on. Yoshi-san. Uh, IMDB, though. Yes. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so uh, that would make sense. Like, once Amelie's thing is disconnected, time fall doesn't matter anymore and the BTs don't appear. But, uh, like I said, the that post game takes place after she's disconnected her beach but before the final cutscenes and there still is time fall and BTs so I mean I feel that that was just gameplay it probably Houston is an actor probably known is. for LARP Chronicles 2018 wow it probably is okay uh that was all just page one I have two pages all right okay I mean you didn't stay up three hours after you beat the game just I did how good it is I did I was thinking about like stuff uh okay I talked. Okay, I already talked about most of page two. Actually, the ending endeared me to Die Hard Man. Good performance. Dead Man was like super important to Sam's character development. They're probably the two most important characters, honestly. For how much time like Heart Man, Mama, and uh, Fragile gets, the Dead Man and Die Hard Man are probably the two yep. most important characters. I would say probably. Uh, I mean, 
with a name like Die Hard, man. How can you not? Okay, that's my next. That's my next thing. Um, Kojima names meaning something is both goofy and seriously like genius, and I love it. it. So <laughs> the first one was Amelie, where it's like, because you think of okay, Die Hard, man, that sounds stupid. Heart man because of his heart, that's stupid. All these names are stupid, but you know. Amelie, Cliff, those sound like real names. But no, Amelie means is French for soul and lie. She's a fake soul. <laughs> oh my god. It was such a like emotional scene, but I started laughing super hard when Cliff <laughs> His name is Cliff, which is short for Clifford, but he's also like a Cliff <laughs> because he <laughs> I'm, I, if it weren't for you, if you weren't for you, Sam, I'd be just like any other Cliff. <laughs> god. Go. Nowhere to go. Oh my god. So it's like goofy and stupid as hell, but I all it's also like genius. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, Die Hard Man. I I saved the clip where he's like, because uh, what's his real name? I can't think of his real name. Uh, John. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. <laughs> John, yeah. Um, it shows like a y dead man's showing the holograms with the younger John. He's like, okay, Cliff was killed by John because John actually was worked with Cliff, and uh, reports say he died. But some people die harder than others, and then he like does his little wrist flick, and uh, John turns into Die Hard Man. So that was great. And, the, and I like how the reason why they call him Die Hard Man because Cliff wouldn't let him die, so he kept coming back. <laughs> so they call <laughs> they call him Die Hard Man. I love that. That's so good. I, speaking of Die Hard, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I can input on that. I don't know. I don't remember if they say it ever in the other ones, but I'm pretty sure the first one they never say. Uh, they never do like the where they say the title the movie so they never say they don't say in the first one i'm gonna okay, die cool. hard or it's gonna be hard to die they don't i don't think they do but in the later ones they might so that's oh wait hold up oh this is genius kojima you done it again what okay you know how die hard man's name first name is actually john yes his canonical last name is mclean oh that oh. is good that is really good oh 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 no he does do that a lot like how he's a madman snake he usually does it for uh, Kurt Russell, though, not uh, Bruce Willis, so that's why. Uh, true. God, that's... I didn't even know Kojima knew about other actors other than Kurt Russell. <laughs> true. And Norman Reedus. God, I like uh, the story about how Norman Reedus and Kojima started working together. Ah, uh, what was it again? Uh, uh Camilo Del Toro calls up Norman Reedus, like, hey, a guy named Kojima's gonna call you, just accept his project. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He was like, just and then do... he was like, wait, what? He's like, no, don't even ask anything. Just say yes to it. Mhm. Mm that's good. So um, I like to believe that you can't contact Kojima. Kojima just contacts you. <laughs> he reaches out to you. I can only hope that he'll do it one day. Cause yeah, no, you, I have theory, I have proof for this. Cause Mr. Nerd Cube, he was trying to send his book to Kojima because he mentions I'm gonna get sold too in it. So he's like, you know, I'm gonna give him my copy of my book. As a thing in good faith, he could not find any contact information for him. He's just gonna well, get a hold of Kojima. He should so ask. Kojima will contact you. He should ask Mega Sixty Four. They've done a bunch of videos with Kojima. I mean, we know Kojima. So Mega Sixty Four still us. Mega Sixty Four still baffles me because they have like what, like four hundred thousand subscribers, but they've been around for so long and they have so many like connections with the gaming industry, like. They do videos with Kojima, Reggie, Miyamoto has been in some, the Yakuza creator. I don't know how they get in contact with these people when they're not really that big, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse you? I forgot the biggest one of all. Which one? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Steam himself. Did they? Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, they, and Gabe, yep. In the, <laughs> in the Beatles Rock Band video for some reason. They put Gabe Newell in that one. Seven has... I want to play Beatles Rock Band. Real bad. Real bad. Huh? I like Higgs. Higgs was fun. Higgs is fun. I like Higgs a lot. Like I said I like before. Just edgy. He's cool. I like his final boss thing. I like that he uh, kills himself at the end because Fragile Did can't do it. Did you know that uh, the person that you're delivering pizzas to was actually Higgs? Yeah, because yeah, there's the last email about it, and I was confused, kind of. There's also some edgy interviews uh, with Higgs that you unlock afterwards, where he talks about, I think he could have killed his dad or something, I don't know, I didn't read them in full, I just skimmed them. He's an edgy boy, I like how edgy he was. 
Is he the he was. He was, but uh, he was also uh, like, game over, man. Up until the big twist that your adopted sister, who isn't actually your adopted sister, is the villain. And who's Amelie. that? Okay. Amelie, who is also Bridget, who is yes. the same extinction entity. But this was her, Amelie was on the beach because no one ever actually saw her in person. Yep. That's why yep. the second team, the first team died. Cause is, they, uh, who's the person out. who looks like Death? That's Higgs. The one is with it? the okay. golden skull mask. Yeah. The, the one that looks like uh, Death Gun. Alright. He's um, really edgy, I love him. In the he movie, is, he in the is movie, but he's, he's also goofy the, as hell. In the movie, he's gonna true. be in the in the movie, he's gonna wear the mask the whole time. Okay. I know that because have you seen him without his mask? He has like writing on his forehead. Yeah. Damaged. I don't know what it, I don't know what it says. <laughs> yeah. really? No, I think of the Higgs equation because Higgs is a scientific term. It, it says damaged. I wish. It says damaged. Uh, yeah, it, he's really. He just has a really edgy design, but he's super goofy. All right, uh, the BTS in my uh, remake or, or remake, my uh, my movie will be demons. I mean, demonic. they're close enough to demons. Yeah. They're just ghost people. Mm -hmm. and therefore, Higgs will somewhat be uh, in. Um, he'll be the devil himself. I mean, like, yeah, he it'll be them. like it'll be like hinted that he is the devil, but then at the end of a full reveal that he is the devil. Um, <laughs> is, this just, out. is this just Max Payne that now? Point. Yeah, that, that's that's what uh, you gotta add demons wherever you can in. Uh, Video game adaptations? Yeah. Yeah, just cut Emily out, she's not that important. Unless it's Doom, then you have to take the demons out and make him space yeah. aliens. I, I don't know, I mentioned this in our first, uh, on the Ministers cast, that's trending cast, but uh, I like how Sam didn't understand, know that his mom was the president. Yep. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. What? My mom? Yeah. Surely you, surely you mean my dad. You wake up. Women can be... No, no, he, she is actually the first and last female president <laughs> of the United States. Yeah. So sorry, Hillary, you're not in the death stranding. That is, that, is a, that is a conspiracy theory that uh, once a woman gets elected, the country will end. <laughs> it is. It's true. That's what I mean. First period. Boom. America's gone. Mm -hmm. But then a black man will be president again. Yeah, no, I, I like, because you wake up. The, that uh, dead man comes up and like, oh yeah, no, the president wants to see you, so don't go deliver this medicine because the president's dying of cancer. And then Sam's like, why would I want to go talk to the president? Why would she want to? Why would the president want to see me? He's like, because it's your mom, Sam. And he's like, what? My mom's the president. Yeah. Did he not know his mom? No, he knows. He knows his adopted mom. Just for some reason, put, think that she was the president, even though I think she was the president when he was a kid still. I don't know. Because she was the vice president, and then the. President died in the BT in the void out. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah, feel like true. he would have known. I like how uh, Amelie's name is literally America, like her last name. Yep. Um, America. Amelie yeah. America Strand or something. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was cool how, like, you find out, like, oh, no one's actually ever seen Amelie, what's the deal? And all the scenes, the flashbacks you get with young Sam is only on the beach. Uh, yeah. So it makes sense. It makes sense. That's some other good characters. And, and, and the, in the movie adaptation, uh, Sam's gonna have a hardcore, like, heroin addiction, too. That's fine. And that's how he'll see Amelie? Cause, yeah, uh, that, that's actually how, because the, um, the BTs aren't actually real. But they're all they're all in the, everyone's mind. Okay. It's like also you're... pulling a Max Payne because everyone, all the demons are apparently just a drug field thing. But they're like, God, Max Payne. You guys should watch Max Payne. It's awful. I want to. But that who's gonna play Mama? And I really think we should just uh, change her to Dad Air. <laughs> yeah, let's be progressive here. Dad Air. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he was a of... male who got pregnant like Junior, but then the child dies during childbirth. Probably also like Junior. So it's gotta be our own Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> but he has, a, he has a twin also played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's my baby. No, no his, twin, his twin that. would be Danny DeVito, idiot. Oh, that's also good. That, I just know, got right, at, After all this Death Stranding, like, theorizing and making notes and stuff and researching stuff last night at 3 in the morning, I just got recommended a video of Danny DeVito, like, eating an egg. Like... <laughs> Because he's on Broadway, and during one of his shows, he has to, like, eat a uh, a hard-boiled egg, like, really fast while delivering his lines. So he just did a video with, I think it was New York Times, just talking about how how he practices tearing open the eggs super fast and eating it and delivering his lines and spitting out all the chunks, like, on cue and stuff. 
God, Danny DeVito is an absolute chad. I need to watch Always Sunny. Yeah, Always Sunny's good. It's just really long, so uh, I I started watching it and then I just I stopped never, for like months on it and then go all. back. I've just seen it occasionally and it's really good. But... I'm on season six right now. Uh, the best the best thing uh, is shit. when Danny DeVito crawls out of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> What about trash? I don't know. Anytime any DeVito on the screen is the best thing about the episodes. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. He's not even in season one, is he? No, he doesn't come until season two, but season one is also the shortest. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the rest. Of, I've seen stuff from season one, and it's still pretty funny, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think I have too much else to say other than uh, you said um, it gave you big End of Evangelion vibes. Yep. Which, yes. I pointed out some before, uh, the female protagonist through the whole story, you know, Amelie, Ray. Do, ends they, up being... do, they, do they explain how uh, she becomes a protagonist? Who what? Because you can't have a female character without explaining their backstory. Oh, heavily. I get it, I get uh, it. Yeah, she, is, she was born to be an extinction entity to destroy humanity. Yep, true. Like all women, am I right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, anyways, female protagonist, uh, through the whole story, ends up being the catalyst of the end of the world, including her head being on a giant otherworldly creature, that happens in both, uh, connecting everyone's beaches to cause the end of the world, which also, you know, that's what Evangelion's about, is connecting everyone into primordial soup, uh, everything with, the... when you go to Amelie's beach, it's literally the first, like, time you appear, the water is red, just like at the beach at the end of Evangelion. You know? So, you could say that she's the Iblis Trigger. The what? Yeah, you could. You could <laughs> say that she's the Iblis Trigger. In fact, I think Kojima just ripped off the plot of Sonic 06. <laughs> Very possible. I mean, they don't explain what- do they explain what Silver and Blaze are fighting in the future? Or this could be BTs. <laughs> I like to imagine alternate timeline. Who's the Iblis Trigger? Is it Sonic? Yes. Yeah, uh, so Sonic dies. And then Silver the thinks it's Sonic. Crying. Silver thinks it's Sonic, but it's not actually Sonic, is it? No, no well, if this, what end up, I think it's Girl, Princess Girl. Yeah, she, she is. When she starts crying, when her emotions because she loves Sonic and his hedgehog dick so much dies, she starts bawling over it, which then releases. It's Iblis. her tears or something. Yeah, it's her tears. And that's why Methodist wanted Silver to go back in time to kill Sonic. Your actions will condemn us all. God. So yeah, uh, Death Stranding is just Sonic 06 ripoff. Yes, so. Uh, good to know. Except you can't PMP Sonic 06, so... Oh, what is this? Po you can in Postal, so I mean... I, okay. <laughs> Go Kojima just uh, combined the Sonic 06 and Postal. That's all He's I'm combined saying. all of his dreams that he had. I it's mean, your dream I, to get I pissed Kojima on, though. I want Kojima to work out with uh, Del Toro to actually make a Death Stranding movie directed by Del Toro. I think they could make it work. Yeah, for sure. They, there's a lot of, like... Or at least, like, maybe a short, uh, like, a short... If they just, TV I mean... Directed by him, but it, it's just me. The side characters oh, add a lot. Back? You know, you can do the remake. Oh, yeah. yeah true. Yeah. The side characters add a lot, but they could, they could honestly cut, like, individual side character stories and just focus on the main plot, and it would definitely fit into, like, a two-and-a-half-hour movie. Yeah. I think. Isn't that what the whole ending cutscene was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't know how long the last cutscene actually was. I haven't seen anything about, like... Because I'm pretty sure the Guinness World Record is still for Metal Gear Solid 4 with its 72-minute long one. Uh, and no one's talked about Death Stranding exceeding that, so I don't know uh, how yeah, long... Yeah, the longest I have seen was, like... It's just that one article saying Death Stranding's, like, final ending sequence is two and a half hours. Yeah, but that includes walking and the credits, which is not a cutscene. Uh, I keep, like gameplay in so yeah um yeah jeez i don't know but whatever that final cut seems flies by because it's really good which yeah, one yeah. all the, the entire the big brain the big brain all uh, the entire like pretty much end big brain video game idea would be like to have a game that's as long as that and then you get to the final chapter and then it becomes like a choice based thing more like uh like a telltale kind of thing but good yeah where, uh, you know, you have to make decisions, and then you can get a shitty ending, but you can't revert back to when that the decision-making start. You have to start from the beginning again, and God. play through the first, like, eight, eight out of ten, eight tenths, four-fifths I mean, of the game to get to the final one-fifth of the game where you actually make decisions. So, there's only one good ending. Death Stranding like... kind of had a choice thing. But it just results in a game over, and so... 
Did you do that? No. Well, what is did... it like in Far Cry 4 when you just sit there and don't do anything and no. you're in the game? Oh. What did you do? I mean, kind of. What did you do in I, that I game? shot her a couple times and when that didn't work I went to hug. Yeah, same. Went up, go punch. Same, yeah, I, I tried to shoot her and it didn't work. Cause guns don't... Guns I shot, I used all of my bullets, so I wonder if I kept, if I didn't shoot her and kept the bullets in at the end when Sam tries to shoot him. Sure, I also used all my bullets. If, wait, what? I used all my bullets as well. Yeah, so, so, did I, I so did I. And then when Sam like tries to shoot himself at the end, there's no bullets in it. I was like, well, yeah, of course. But if I had kept bullets, maybe he would have died. I don't know. Probably not. But um, because baby. Well, he got stranded on the beach. He turns blue. I didn't know why <laughs> he turned into a Smurf during stranded. that whole scene. But it's because he's like dead. Because when you die, you turn blue. And, and that scene in the movie, Patrick Harris will show up. Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. Because you know Smurfs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to think here. Uh, you know when Dead Man, you know when Deadman says the object that started this all brought you back, and he's talking about the revolver, because they yeah. were able to find him on the beach because his revolver was loaded with uh, his own blood yeah. rounds. Yeah, uh, blood. Because... That's edgy. Yeah. yeah. Let's say kill blood him. and pee and poop are the only thing that can harm BTs. It's true. It's 100 percent true. <laughs> His demon could probably also. But when he said, I didn't know what he meant when he said the object that started this all. I was confused, but he means started this all because it was the same gun that killed Cliff and him. Wow. Kojima's done it again. Kojima's done it again. He's a Which fucking does too? genius. Yeah, yeah, he dies before the game even starts. He does. You see a bunch he, of like flashbacks then. Sort yeah. of. You get stuck I'm... to the time portal, sort of. You get flashbacks though every time you connect yeah. to BB. Yeah, and then you I'm have... so happy you can access those at in the in the post game because I uh, my favorite one is when he uh, is Santa, and I was gonna save that clip and I didn't do it. What's the post game like? Uh, you, you pretty much just go and do whatever you want, travel yeah. the world, finish up oh, stuff. Lord. It yeah. takes place two weeks before the final cutscene, so yeah, most stuff is wrapped up. So it's kind of like a. Yeah, like that. Oh, I guess Kojima was in control. Control of what? Uh, the game control that got nominated for a bunch of awards that no one talked about. What? You know, the game control. That's Yo, Kojima he was in, that? is in the voice cast of the Japanese dub. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. I'm on Kojima's page and he did voice role for that. He plays Dr. Yamamoshi Toki. <laughs> Why was the team nominated for the Game Awards for Best Performance? Because no, no one plays in Japanese. Yeah, but come on. Jeff Keighley was definitely nominated. His butt buddy, Kojima. I saw something, because uh, Jeff Keighley was doing a Reddit AMA, and was and someone asked, like, uh, is there any bias with uh, a game that you are in, uh, being in Game of the Year and being nominated for so much stuff? And Jeff Keighley got, like, super defensive about it. I was like, no. So yes, there is. So yes. No, there probably isn't, but... No. He says he tries to make it as fair as possible, but... Hey, Jeff. Um... Know. Okay, um... Should we... What should we dab at? At, uh, the Game Awards? Uh, I mean, oh. I, I'm gonna take a shot of straight, straight Frambury whenever Death Stranding gets an award. That's right. what I was gonna do, too. I've got some, uh, right here. Illegally, of course. Yeah, it's not released yet. It's not the first time of the year. Yeah. Yeah, not yet. I definitely don't have four. I have four legal bottles in my fridge right Same. now. They are legal because you're gonna drink. How many them did you get, Trent? I got one. Oh, okay, <laughs> so we'll have five. Good. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> I'm gonna be really thirsty, boys. Did you guys get the? You got the spice ones? Yeah. Cause yeah. The well, one that there is. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think the standard is available anymore. I mean, the standard mm -hmm. was just Sprite, so. It was Sprite cranberry. I I mean, it just tasted like Sprite. True. Hand of cranberry, did. All right. Let's see here. I'm anyway, going. Um, my notes. If we get, a, if we get a fuck the Oscars, we won't ever get a fuck the Oscars ever again. He if came back do. last year, but he didn't. Uh, like really it, he didn't back. win. He didn't do anything, yeah. The biggest disappointment of my life, truly. Mhm. Mm oh, oh, another thing I like with fragile table naming, but great naming fragile. Her dad created Fragile Express, so named his daughter after his company. Yep. <laughs> God, it's good. I just, uh, have you seen Christmas Story? No. 
uh, the biggest meme in Christmas Story. Well, there's a lot of big memes in Christmas Story, but uh, the biggest meme and my mom's favorite meme is uh, they get the leg lamp. I'm sure you've seen that before. Oh, I, never mind. I've seen, I've, I thought of something new Christmas Story. I've seen Christmas Story once. Okay. Like That's the one where the kid yeah. wants a gun, right? Yeah. Yes, he wants a gun. gun. <laughs> And they're like, Which, I don't know. I, I, I watched that movie when I was young and I always hated it. I, yeah, like, I always had seen I watched that... it in school and I'm like, eh, it's alright. I had always movie. known about it and seen imagery about it and stuff. And like, it's like super famous, but I did not watch it until like three years ago for the I first time. I watched it, I think, in like middle school for the first time. Yeah, it seems like everyone watched it like when they were younger, but I just saw it for the first time three years ago. Uh, good movie. But, um, the, the mm-hmm. biggest meme, like, it's the biggest laugh out of my mom is, uh, they get the leg lamp in a in a box, and on it it says fragile, and the uh, the dad pronounces it fragile, and he says Not it must that be, fragile. and he says it must be Italian, but she's French, so fuck you. Christmas story, don't know your own lore. You don't know your own lore. Is she French? I need to double check that. Yeah. Yeah, she's French. And a Bond girl. She is a Bond girl. And a Mission Spectre. Impossible person. And uh, a Spectre. Right? I, need to wa- Spectre? I still need to watch the new uh, J- uh, Tom Cruise try to kill himself. What? Edge of Tomorrow? No, Mission Impossible. Uh-oh. I still need to watch the new one. I haven't seen it. I, I've seen all the other ones because they're great. I haven't. I had to watch Good. the first one and I fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, I've only seen three onwards. I haven't seen the first two. Oh. But I really like watching Tom Cruise try to kill himself. Theme songs are rad. What's the Mission Impossible theme song again? Uh, 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 that one. In the new Mission Impossible. Da 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 Henry, and that's also Superman. Yeah. yeah, I don't care about Superman. He and the Witcher, Superman and he's more. Witcher boy. Yeah, Geraldo. Geraldo. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for the Witcher. The, the new trailers actually sold me on it. The first trailer looks bad, but the new one looks good. But the games aren't even good. I'm They're coming. not. I'll watch them. I'll watch them. After Bojack, them. probably. Gotta finish Bojack, you know? That comes out on the twentieth. You know, I'll get it done at some point. I don't trust any fantasy series after the twentieth. Thrones. The twentieth is when Witcher comes out. Yeah, eight episodes, oh. I guess. Eight episodes? Yeah. How long? <laughs> you don't know. Probably, probably nice. anywhere from the thirty minutes to the hour range. Yep. Okay. Well, maybe I'll watch them then. I'm going on my trip in early January, so I don't want to start it and then not yeah. be able to finish it. You know, just download them for your trip. I could do that too. I gotta watch Bo. I either gotta download Bojack episodes or get ahead of Bojack for my trip. Cause... I'm, I'm still caught up. I am too. Today was episode four of season two, right? Yes. Yeah. I watched that one. Pretty that was a good one. Pretty good. Oh, I completely yeah. forgot that episode existed. What was it again? <laughs> uh, it was in party. And then it keeps cutting away to all the different people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I remember. Movie where I'm pretty sure, I don't know, but I think Vincent, Adult Man, and Kevin are two, the same person. They might be. We don't know. I hope they explain that in c True. It's like, I, could, I got a lot about this early se- season, too. I couldn't remember, like, most of these episodes. I, I, like, don't remember most of, like, there was a lot of season one I didn't remember, because, like... Season one I can mostly remember. Season three I can remember. I just can't remember season two, even though it was one of my favorites. Season two and Owl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like one of the best characters, so... She is, but they totally forget about her, which sucks. Uh, the story's kind of over. Season 2 also has, uh... That hack, uh... That crook, even. <laughs> JD goddamn Salinger. Uh, that's season 3, isn't it? No, that's season 2. Uh, when is Holly... When's the game show? Is that season? Oh, yeah, season 2. What? It's all that early? Yeah. Season what the hell do they do for season, season 3 and 4? About, but it has, like, some of the best. What, what happens in season... Season 2 is, uh, Hollywood Stolen Celebrity. What do they know? Do they know things? Let's yeah, find out. Yeah. Season 3. Season 3 is also good, but it has one of my least favorite characters in it. Which? And, uh, a Greek word. Who? Uh, the Bojack's, uh, agent that's helping him get rid of Oscar, that girl. Uh... And, uh, Papa, Papa uh, she's fine, I guess. Uh, I yeah, she's, she's alright. I don't care for her that much. 
Yeah, I mean, she's not a favorite or anything. Okay. Uh, I think I've I remember the big, the big thing. I remember really liking season one, but... <clears throat> I you think don't. Before, you don't remember before. liking season one. I remember liking it a lot. So. Yeah, no, season one's fantastic. I, I just like most people, I thought like, the beginning's not as good, and it only gets better after that. But I, there's a lot of really good episodes at the beginning of season one, and just. This big thing about season one is that Bojack is like. Getting book, trying to get book. Yeah, yeah. But he's also like he falls in love with her, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Like a weird, yeah. That's good. And at and one then point, they kind of stop the marriage. And they don't really go into that ever again. That's kind of. Weird. Don't they? I can't remember. Not really. Like, I don't as know. Soon as they get to season two. a little awkward at the beginning of season two. Uh, but, Cause, yeah, like. Cause then Diane works on the Secretariat for a bit and then goes off to go fight the war. Crying. Yeah, I thought when uh, her and Peanut, Mr. Peanut Butter got, like, a thing, she would, like. that they would end up like, get together again. Yeah. Bojack's like, been, uh. Be happy being by himself until not. He dies. Got him. I'm excited for more Bojack. All my shows are ending. Thumbs. Everything ends. Sadly, yeah. But I got a shit ton of other stuff to watch after Bojack. Everything ends. Hopefully, hopefully we get Castlevania season through pretty soon. Hopefully. Okay, that's this has nothing to do with Death Stranding. This is still a Death Stranding. Yes. I could probably oh, yeah. cut it off earlier, but I want to. I want to do a wrap, a nice wrap up. Uh, wrap. Ten, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, uh, game of the generation. Yes, because Yakuza Zero technically a PS3 game originally, so I can get that. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yo, maybe. it's me, and I'm here to see um, some Death Stranding. Thank you. See that fun set. The day is ending. Let that yawn out. There's no pretending. I will hold you. Hold you. <laughs> God, that song makes me big sad. It makes me sad too. Uh, I. Stranding makes me the big. Speaking of, I didn't ball my eyes out th this much at the end of uh, Yakuza Zero, which you did, right? You did a big cry. I teared up. I shed a tear. Losers, but, uh... losers crying to video games. <laughs> The first video game I ever cried to was Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> the first video game I ever cried to was Super Mario Bros. It actually was. Super Mario Galaxy has a kind of sad ending. Well, um, okay. I, uh... <laughs> don't believe me. Uh, Phantom Hourglass. God, yeah. I can't think of the first game I cried to, probably. Because, like, Nat. that, like... Uh, ending I know song. I, mean, and I know I, cr I know I bawled for it. Was, it's just, like, the nostalgia for me for that one. Because, like, the ending of Phantom Hourglass and Sad, this is very, like... Like three years, I've played that game, or three or four, whatever, whatever it was at that point. Like I had that game and was playing it, and then I finally beat it, and it was kind of like a weird. Yeah, yeah, I get that way. You could just beat Half Life uh, Two up on two because they'll never be Half Life Three. Oh my god, I fucking hate that video of uh little kid, the, the little kid. kid. Why we need a Half Life Three? The little kid is like, I wonder what's gonna happen in the next one. There is no next one. He, like, recorded that just to, like... Too much, man. And, if you check the fucking description now, it says they have a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter or something to get a headset so that his kid can play Half-Life Alex. Fuck you, dude. Shut up. Awful. Yeah, no, it's so that the guy recording can play Half-Life Alex. It is. Absolutely, yeah. He just wa in the whole video, like, he's... Son, you're gonna play this video game, and at the end I want you to say this and act really sad when I tell you that there's no other one to make people feel sad. Stupid. I hate it. What, you hate people using their kids to get famous on the internet? Yes, I do. Like, what else F are they good for? Fucking, good for I just found out at my store we sell a shit ton of these things called FGTV, and I didn't know what it was, and I finally looked it up, and it's a fucking family gaming channel where, like, this family just, like, games with their kids, and I'm sure it's awful, but, you know, whatever. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna do that with my kids, but I'm gonna make them play, like, the same games. I want to <laughs> bring back those YouTubers where it was like a family channel, but they literally just abused their kid. Family Five? Like, yeah. yeah, come on. Yeah, please, bring it back. I'm begging you. <sighs> okay, yeah, no, uh, yeah, Death Stranding 10 out of 10, I was super skeptical about it, you know? I mean, I wasn't super skeptical about it, but you know. I don't know, I was into it, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to buy it at launch. I yeah, mean, that they... was me too, I think you And then they, they said that 
the multiplayer even if you PS Plus for, I'm like, all right, I'm in. Yeah, I was skeptical so about it too. I was gonna wait for reviews and stuff, but didn't I don't know, just the more stuff came out I was so intrigued and I was like, Okay, yeah, no, I uh I haven't disliked a single Ki Kojima game, so you know. I mean, I was gonna say that but in case of Metal Gear One Solid One. Metal Gear Solid One I don't I dislike, I just don't think what's, it's what's, what's the what's the one good. uh what's the one uh Pro Jared doesn't doesn't like? Metal, Metal Gear Rising. Rising. He doesn't that's not a Kojima game. Uh it is. He had his Dick in it. Yeah, I mean, that's more of a Platinum Games game. It is, but he wrote the story, and it is yeah. Kojima Productions co-working on it. Uh, which, by the way, that game's fucking incredible, and one of the best action games of all time. I play it, but it's not on PS4, so I'm going to have to get right, um... point. But it never goes on sale, so... Man, I'm kind of I was, I was being kind of skeptical, but uh, I was, I was... It's just like when I went and saw Joker. I was like, okay, yeah, this is going to be a big deal. But it probably won't be the best thing I've seen this year or anything. Like I'm, I'm gonna stay reserved. I'm not gonna prepare for like, oh, this is gonna be ten out of ten, the best thing of all time. Uh, but then I played it, and I was like, holy crap, it's fantastic. And yeah, I like, played Joker. I don't know it was a game. And Joker too. Joker. I was like, this will probably be a good movie, but it probably won't be amazing or anything. People are saying, oh, it's the best. Is super it your favorite movie, movie of the year? Movie, but and yeah, it probably is. Uh, really uh, cool. I think last time I checked, it is. Oh, I have an update with Knife Out, but yes, it is. The what? Joker is the best? Yeah. Uh, I think I like Knives Out a little bit more. I need to rewatch Knives Out. Uh, Knives Out I, is in my top ten, but... It's it's tough. They're about even, probably, for me. But you relate Knives to one far best. more. <laughs> what, Knives Out? No, you would relate to uh, Joker far more. Because... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course. I'm more of a Joker. Knives Out, Sorry, dude. push Promare off. Bye, Promare. Promare's gone, yeah. Currently <laughs> on my... <laughs> hey, Fluttershy, what's wrong? Joker, please don't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vec, go on a date with Hunter to go see Knives Out, or I will destroy you. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, go. Yeah. go see I it. I always go on a date with him, but I'm a boy. I'm a, I'm a broke boy, too, and I'm busy. Maybe get a job! I am getting one. Why don't you get I a have, job? I do have one. Pay rent. Devin's gotta be absolutely broke by this point, right? He's gonna be crawling back to the What does he spend money on? Now. That's true. A gas? Gas, and whenever we hang out, we usually go out to eat and stuff, so... And he always buys too much food. Yep. Because, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go see an anime movie with him, and he was like, uh, kind of, we can watch it for free, um, you know, after... Oh, he doesn't want to see the new Star Wars? And he didn't want to see Probably. the new Star Wars. He's went and seen every other Star Wars with us, so I assumed even though, even, I assume it's because he's poor. Getting, getting a broke boy. <laughs> That he doesn't want to go. That's why thing. I had you buy me a ticket because I'll have money by the time I go see Star Wars. You stole me for the concert too. You both of yeah. you. You see, I'll have even more money because I get. Have I even get seen you tomorrow. since that? No, you haven't. We haven't hung out in like a month, over a month, I think. Uh, no, we hung out. End of November. Oh Lord yeah, of... Lord of the Rings, of course. Oh yeah, of course. How could I forget? How could you forget the best? Night yeah, we still gonna watch fucking Return. Return. We should do that before Game Awards. It's either going to be that or Casino Royale or I, I've, My vote is Return of the King because it's short. And it's... Yeah, it's an hour and a half. Yeah, I think that I'd rather do that than watch a longer movie. Uh, yeah, and everyone's going to be there. I think Devin and yeah. Jake are going to be there unless they poop out, so... Uh, Jake is... I don't know about Devin. You can't... You, Devin's too busy playing TF2 by himself. Sad. We'll tell him TF2's nominated That's for the new thing. He was playing Undertale for a while, now he just plays TF2. Yeah, he just, he just plays TF2 all by himself, not even on like Before it was, on, it was Unreal and it was uh, Undertale and now it's TF2. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. What's gonna be his next game he's gonna play constantly? Death Stranding. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't have any new systems. Yeah, I have a question it's for you. Be on PC. Trend is Death Stranding, do you think it's Devin's not gonna get a PC. Devin's not even getting it for Halo, and that's like one of his Death favorite games. Oh yeah, he doesn't so. have money for it right now. Trent, do you I think Death Stranding is your favorite Kojima game? No, uh, Trent is not. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I do really like Metal Gear Solid 2. I, yeah. yeah, it is. I'm having trouble going. I'm popping back and forth between. I think it is. I'm going back and forth between Metal Gear Solid 4 and this. I kind of want to be playing Metal Gear Solid 2, but I have to finish Snake Eater still. And play 4? Yeah, uh, yeah 4 anyway. be a bit. Trent? Yes. I, I uh, disagree, Devin. Um, Jake offered Devin his computer for free, and Devin still declined it. So. Well, I think the reason he said that because he knows as soon as he gets it, he's just going to only play Halo. He, wants to, he won't have time for school. It's only Reach. It's not even the best Halo. Yeah, it's just Reach. Devin didn't even do the multiplayer much anyway. It's not like... I don't uh, know. I've only played, like, popped it on a couple times to play the campaign. 
don't, I don't I don't really care for reaching the multiplayer. I don't I Yeah, the um, I don't, I'm not. I don't and this has been Death Stranding cast. Thank you for <laughs> listening. It was Bye a good game. Can't wait for the next thing, Co Dreamer. Thank Death you. Death Stranding 2. Thank you for making a good game. Goodbye. But I-